This video explains how to convert vector objects to the numeric data class in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the first part of this video, I will show you how to convert a vector object from the vector class to the numeric class. And for this, we first need to create an example vector, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector object is appearing at the top right, which is called vec. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector vector containing seven different elements and three different levels, three, five, and six. We can also check the class of our vector object by applying the class function, as you can see in line five of the code. And then you can see in the RStudio console that currently we are dealing with a vector vector. Now, if we want to convert this vector vector to a numeric vector, we have to be very careful because if we only apply the s.numeric function, as you can see in line seven of the code, something surprising might happen. And you can see that by applying this function to our vector object, so after running this line of code, a new vector object called vec1 is created, which contains the output of the s-numeric function. However, if you print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that we have created a numeric vector. However, the values in this vector have changed. And the reason for that is that by default, the s.numeric function converts a vector from one to the number of levels. So the first level in our vector vector three was converted to the numeric value one. The second level was converted to the numeric value two. And the third level, the level six, was converted to the value three. However, usually we want to keep the numbers in our vector vector. And we can do that by combining the s.numeric function with the s.character function, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector called vec2 is appearing at the top right, and we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11. And then you can see that once again, we have created a numeric vector. However, this time we have kept the numbers in our final output. So in this first part of the video, I have explained how to convert a vector vector to a numeric vector. However, it's also possible to convert data frame columns from the vector class to the numeric class. And this is what I want to show you in the next part of this tutorial, starting in line 13 of the code. So as a very first step, I'm creating an example data frame. So after running lines 13 to 15 of the code, a new data frame called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 16. And then you can see that our example data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. However, if we check the classes of this data frame using the sapply and the class functions, as you can see in line 18 of the code, you can see that the first column x1 in our data frame has the vector class. Now let's assume that we want to convert this class to the numeric class then it might make sense to first create a duplicate of the data frame. In this case, I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. And for that reason, I'm creating such a duplicate. So after running line 20 of the code, a new data frame called data new is created. And at this point, this data frame contains exactly the same values as our input data frame. And then in the next step, I'm using the dollar operator to convert the values in the column x1, which is our vector column, to the numeric class. And note that once again, I'm combining the s.numeric function with the s.character function, because I want to keep the numbers in our data column. So after running line 21 of the code, you can see at the top right that our data frame is updated and we can print our new data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 22. And then you can see that the values in the first column have been kept. However, if we check the classes of our data frame columns once again, you can see that now the first column has the numeric class. 
That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.